In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to install your automatic Vision Raster Braille Inserter and cutters into the Vision Engraver. The automatic Vision Raster Braille Inserter can only be used on the 16 series and larger machines. For this project, we're using the Vision 2448 Engraver, the Series 3 Controller, the automatic Vision Raster Braille Inserter to insert the raster spheres, and the Vision Pro 9 software. We are using white raster spheres for the braille text. To cut out the raised elements, we will use a profile letter cutter with a small tip of .010. To drill the holes for the raster braille spheres, we will use a raster braille MU cutter. We can zero the cutter or set the cutters flush with the bottom of the nose cone so we can use the micrometer to set the engraving depth in our job. Each click of the micrometer is 1 1,000th depth and each complete revolution is 25,000th depth. It is best to start with the micrometer at zero for reference. Loosen the set screw on the cutter knob and move the cutter up about two inches. Tighten the set screw to hold it there. Put the cutter into the spindle by threading it counterclockwise. Now lower the spindle until the nose cone touches the material and the tension spring compresses slightly. Loosen the cutter set screw and gently lower the cutter until it touches the material, then tighten the set screw. This sets the cutter flush with the bottom of the nose cone. Use the Z up jog button to raise the spindle off the material. Now remove the cutter from the spindle. The holes for the raster spheres are drilled at 42,000 depth. The raised elements are cut at 35,000 depth. Therefore, the raised elements are cut at 7,000 less depth. If we rotate the micrometer minus 7 clicks before we zero the profile letter cutter, it will be set at 7 thousandths less depth than the Raster Braille MU cutter. This means we only have to set the micrometer once for the whole job. When we dial 42 clicks to the right or 42 thousandths depth for the Braille cutter, the profile letter cutter will be at 35 thousandths depth. We will now zero the profile letter cutter. Rotate the micrometer plus 7 clicks. Loosen the set screw on the cutter knob and move the cutter up about 2 inches. Tighten the set screw to hold it there. Put the cutter into the spindle by threading it counterclockwise. Now lower the spindle until the nose cone touches the material and the tension spring compresses slightly. Loosen the set screw and gently lower the cutter until it touches the material, then tighten the set screw. This sets the cutter flush with the bottom of the nose cone. Leave this cutter in the spindle. Press the go to home button. You can now dial the micrometer 42 clicks past zero and leave it there for the whole job. Now we set the surface for the braille pen attachment to establish the amount of pressure used to insert the raster spheres. Insert the raster braille pen into the vision bracket and locate it correctly by rotating it until the pin on the bracket enters the hole in the ring. Do not tighten the nut that locks the pen in place at this time. Lower the spindle until the raster braille pen rises above the adapter and the ring is almost flush with the top of the locating pin. There should be about a 1 16th inch gap between the ring of the pen and the bracket. On the controller, press the Set Surface button and press Enter to set. The spindle will raise slightly, indicating the surface has been set. Lift the pen high out of the way and lock in place by tightening the nut on the bracket. Press the Go to Home button to send the spindle back to the home position. Several ADA compliant templates are included with the software. They can be modified to create custom ADA compliant signs. After you create toolpaths to cut the raised elements and drill the holes for the raster spheres, your job is ready to send to the machine. Use the profile letter cutter to cut the raised elements. When the cutting is done, remove the profile letter cutter from the spindle and place a raster braille MU cutter into the spindle. Use the raster braille MU cutter to drill the braille holes. Test your holes before running the whole job. When the holes are finished, the Series 3 controller will ask you to lower the raster braille inserter. Loosen the nut on the bracket to lower the pin into place and tighten the nut again to lock it there. Press Start to insert the raster spheres into the holes. If you do not have an automatic raster braille inserter, you can insert the raster spheres manually using the raster braille pen. 
to avoid static amongst the raster spheres, increase the humidity in the room, and try grounding the pen. When the raster spheres are all inserted, the Series 3 controller will ask you to raise the raster barrel inserter. Lift the pen high out of the way and lock in place by tightening the nut on the bracket. Press start to complete the job. With this, we successfully installed and used the Raster Braille MU Cutter, Profile Letter Cutter, and Automatic Vision Raster Braille Inserter on the Vision Engraving Machine.